Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we will talk about building newsletters in the new Outlook. Microsoft removed some functionality from the new Outlook because it's built now with a different engine than the old one. You can still use HTML formatting in the new Outlook, but it's very limited. And in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to build a template like the one on the left side, and we'll talk about some of the limitations of the new Outlook and how we can overcome them. Well, first let's start with inserting our tables because as you know, newsletters are just HTML tables. And to insert a table, we need to go to insert and then we have here just a few options comparing it to the old Outlook. And now we have here this option table. We need just one cell now. And as you see, it's small. We still have the boxes on the top, the bottom, like the old Outlook. And we can use them to resize the table. Now, the first problem, we can't control the size of the table. So we can't define it or set it as in the old Outlook. So I'm usually in the old Outlook, I would uh, give it 21 centimeters, which is around 800 pixels. But in the new Outlook, it's not possible. You can maybe depend on the image that you are using. So you, you can set your banner to 800 pixels and upload it to the table and resize the table to make it 800 pixel like the banner. Or another option, you can go to Word and in word you can define a table give it a certain size and then copy it and come back here to outlook and it will work because word is using also html like outlook and now let me bring it bring it like word here so let me delete now this table and we can use in word the same old outlook functionality we can do an insert a table and then we can go to table layout in here with properties we can use all the old stuff from the old outlook because it's the same interface and the same options so i'm going to cancel now and i'm going to go back to my old template now after creating a table we need to insert an image so we can go to insert and then use picture and then search for an image. Let's use this one. It's big. We have the dots here, we can resize it. And as you can see, the table is shrinking with the image till a certain size. Also with images, we lost a lot of functionalities. But we still we can crop images. So as you can see, we resize the image. So let me insert again in the table. Let me insert below. As you see, we have borders. In the early version, in the early releases of Outlook, it wasn't possible to remove the borders as far as I remember. But now it's possible to remove the borders and it's possible to control them so let me let me select the table and go to tables and here we have borders so we can give it no border and we can give the cell background using shading so we can give it like a green background but now we are back to one of the old problems in Outlook, which is the one pixel under the image. So we have a one white line between the cell below and the image, which is weird. So if we give it now also a background, we will have green pixel or one pixel on the right side, and it has also a green background. Again, back to one of the first problems, we can't center the table because it's not possible. We lost this option here. So instead of table properties, we have table options. And here we have just a few options, which means it's not possible to use the old functionality from table properties. My advice to you, 
to you do not use any background because we can't control the spacing within the cell so we can just indent the text from the left side but we can't add any space on the right side so it's going to look weird so that's why it's better maybe to remove the background and to remove the background we go to table shading no color and here we can just add an enter to add some space between the image and the text and now we have like the intro text of our newsletter template now let's go back to table and let's add a new cell and in this cell maybe it's better to use the borders to see where we are when we edit the template now let's add a new table Now let's make it a little bit bigger. We can add some spacing on the left with indenting, and then we can add an image, then an image here. Then we can on set also something below to add the text. I need to fix the indenting. So now it looks good. Let's remove the borders. Again, it's not advisable to use background here because we can't control the space between the columns. Maybe it's going to be a good idea to add another cell, or another column between them both to control to add some spacing and then try to add color let me remove the border to see how it looks like it's okay we can live with it now let's add the footer at the bottom and set below, oh sorry, wrong table. Now we need to add background. And we need to add some text to it. Let's try to center it. So it's now in the middle. Let's remove the borders. no border so that's it that's how we create simple templates in the new outlook now let's come to one of the biggest problems which is saving we can save so if we go to options or to message we will have the save as or save draft so the best options is to save it as a draft in your draft folders but saving it is, is going to open a window to save it. And we have just this form, which is .eml. We can try to save it and to see what's the problem after saving. So test eml, this is the name of the file. So let's try to check this is the name of the file i saved it in the downloads let's try to open it and to see if it's still working or not so this is the file and as you see there are no images 
After saving, we lost the images. So one of the weirdest things that I'm going to lose the image after saving uh, the template using the new Outlook. But if I'm going to open it with Word, the images are going to be there. So let me try to open it with Word. Choose another app. So let me go and search for Word. This is Word just once. And as you see, the images are there. Now another idea, you might think, okay, let me go to Word, and enjoy the old functionality of Outlook and create my templates there and do a copy paste from there. For some time it worked and sometimes it's not working. The images also get lost. You might build a structure of tables in, in Word and then come back to Outlook and fill it with images. So this is the only solution that I see now. But do not give up because Microsoft is updating it regularly. So you might get, we might get better experience with the new Outlook in the future. That's all for the video today. If you have a question, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in future videos.